today is relaxer day i'm so happy i'm on my way to get my relaxer but first i had to stop and get my stylist some breakfast because i like for her to be on a full stomach before she sees me so i have on my scarf and my bonnet before i'm going in here but anywho uh let me pull up the chick-fil-a you know just about everybody eats this so she'll be happy Today I'm getting getting the Design Essentials Relaxer. I normally switch between Design Essentials and Affirm. Um, I really don't have a preference because they pretty much do the same thing. I don't recommend Affirm if you have very thin hair though because it works very quickly and it gets the hair very straight. So you have to um, kind of work kind of fast to use that Affirm. But if you use it right, I love it. So this is just me getting it rinsed out. Uh, it did not burn. You know, relaxers are not supposed to burn. Um, I'll go a little bit more over that in detail, but uh, my stylist knows exactly what she's doing. She is very knowledgeable about relaxers. She taught me a lot of things. She's one of the first stylists. She is one of the worst first stylists I worked with when I first started doing hair, and we have just kept in touch ever since. So she knows way more than me when it comes to hair. So I end up getting some layers cut because I just couldn't take my hair being pretty much one length. So I got long layers. Um, this is the back. Uh, it's not laying exactly how I want it to lay. I mean, I like it though. So what I'm going to do is wrap it. And then tomorrow... <laughs> It's going to be exactly how I need it to be. But I love that I can see the layers. Also, she likes for my part to be way up here. You know, I like an extra deep side part. So I need this part to be like over here somewhere. So I'm going to wrap it. And then once I unwrap it, um, it's going to be exactly how I want it to be. And this is the only thing I'm going to do um, to it for the rest of the week is just wrap it. This is a wrap cap. And I like using this because when you put it on underneath your scarf, that scarf doesn't go anywhere. And your wrap stays perfect. My freshly shampooed, well, freshly washed, because I washed this scarf. I like to wash my scarves. I like to have a clean scarf available every time I shampoo my hair. Because we don't put dirty scarves on clean hair. That's a no-no. All right, so, oh, my scalp feels so great, y'all. We are day one, really, yeah, day one, fresh touch up day, fresh relax day. All right. So we'll let this marinate overnight. So this morning I had an appointment and I was not ready to take my hair down yet. So, you know, it's still wrapped under here. But instead of coming out with just my scarf on, I just threw this hat on because I was like, I'm only going to be seeing technically one person and I'm going to be in and out and I'm going straight back home. I'm not making no stops on the way. So, look, I'm not, I need to go home and get my makeup on and get some clothes on and all that. Then we're going to do the, then we'll do the reveal. So, 
I'm headed home now. I'm gonna get, you know, get myself dressed and all that kind of stuff. Throw on a little makeup, you know, cause this relax today was a big deal. So, you know, we gotta do the reveal in style. You know, we gotta do it correctly. So let's go home. Okay. So I decided not to put on some like real clothes, but I do have on my very cute loungewear. But uh anywho, look, it's been so long since I have like combed my real hair. I almost forgot what my comb was. I had to really go and look for it. But anyway, um, all right, so let's take this hair down. I'm anxious to see how those layers fell through while it was wrapped up. Oh my Lord, like I can feel my scalp. <laughs> so excited. And you remember I said she had my part like way up here. I like mine a little further over. Oh yeah, that's looking good. And see, the thing about layers is the reason why I like them, to me, just one length hair, just all one length, that's just not exciting to me. And plus, the um, when your hair is all one length, it's much heavier. So that like all that bounce and stuff that you like, sometimes it's harder to achieve the, the look that you want when your hair is all in length because like I said, it, the longer it is, the more it weighs. And so it's harder for it to have that bounce unless it's just like bone straight. But like when you're trying to get curls, it's like they don't, they don't want to curl real tight because they're so heavy. So I like to throw a few layers in there. See, see how, I, you know, because I like for it to lay, I like the layered look. And I like for it to frame my face. I'll let y'all see the back. We are back in business, y'all. We are back in business. And yes, I did cut it. I don't want hair to my butt. I low-key want my bob back. 
That's what I really want deep down inside. But you know, a lot of y'all's hair, majority of y'all's hair is shoulder length. And I want you to know that shoulder length hair can be healthy. Short hair, if, this, if you call this short, short hair, medium hair, it can be healthy, okay? It can move. It can have bounce, it can have body, it can have all the things. So I want to represent a little piece of you. So she cut, she cut at least two inches off per my direction. And I have noticed like the longer my hair is, the longer it takes for me to do it. And I don't, one thing about hairstylists, we don't like to do our own hair. Like when we've been doing hair all day, the last thing we want to do is our own. When I had my bob and it was like, my hair was cut like up to here. It took me less than an hour to do my hair. I'm talking about from shampoo to flat iron, less than an hour. This here, mm -mm. we're looking at an hour minimum. So if I had hair to my mid back and, and my hair is thick, and if I had it to my like mid back, child, it'll take me three days to do my hair. Like the way I want to do it. Mm-mm. No, thank you. All right, so y'all don't want to be playing in my hair all day. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to cut it short. So what I'll be doing in the next few, you know, set of videos, I'm going to be showing you my nighttime routine, maybe my morning routine. Only thing I do in the morning is just unwrap it. But if you want to see it, I'll show it. Uh, my morning routine, uh, tips along the way, how to take care of it, things you should do when you have a relaxer, things you shouldn't do, things of that nature. You know, we're going we're gonna to rock this out because... Um, the, mostly I wear wigs, weave, clip-ins, all that when I'm like up in my stretch and I'm just trying to like, I don't really want to do a whole lot to my hair. Um, that's when the, the weave comes into play. But when I get a fresh touch up from now up until like 8, 12 weeks, we rocking out with the real hair. You know what I mean? Unless I just don't feel like doing it. But she good right now. Next week I'll probably do a roller set and I'll definitely um, do a video on that as well. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video on my relaxer day. And you see how, and, and also you see how differently the hair lays after you wrap it. Like, you know, yesterday my hair wasn't laying like this at all. But like, th that's one tip. Even when you are doing your hair at home, like if you ever look at my videos and be like, my hair never comes out like that. I'm doing everything you're doing and my hair doesn't come out like that. You can like barely flat iron your hair, but when you wrap it, it's gonna uh, it's gonna like everything's gonna come together. So a lot of times, that's what what I'll do is when I'm styling my hair, I will curl it or flat iron it or whatever, and then I immediately wrap it afterwards. And then when I unwrap it, that's when the ma the magic happens up under that, that scarf and that bonnet. Okay, that's where the magic happens. That really up under the scarf because I like for it to like get tight. So I put the scarf on kind of tight, not like uncomfortably tight, but you know, make sure it's secure. And then once you unwrap it, I'm going I'm to do a video on that too. How like I unwrap my hair because I be, I just assume that a lot of people know what to do. You know, you know how to wrap, you know how to unwrap. It's simple, right? But from doing hair and from like comments that I get, and even from my own clients, a lot of people are like, can you show me how to wrap my hair? And I'm like, I thought, I, I just, like, again, I just assume that was like, oh, uh, you know, everybody knew how to do it, but they don't. So I'm here to help you out. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all next time. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.